launch, let's have a quick talk about growing a social media channel. We're going to have a masterclass on this coming up, but I wanted to just start with a simple deep dive for those that have already been asking. Social media, at the end of the day, is a numbers game, but it's also an understanding your niche game. So although you should be posting regularly, and the simple truth is the more you post, the more your growth is going to happen, you have to make sure that the people following are actually people that can come in and see you. Now, I don't claim to have the largest social media channels around, right? I've got a couple of thousand people following me. But what I do have is people that are surrounding the area my business is in. Because those are the people that can come in and see you. The channels that have, you know, tens, twenties, hundreds of thousands are great if you're trying to, you know, if you're like me, you're trying to get people like yourselves into a course that I'm doing, right? If you're trying to sell online programs to people across the world, that's a great idea. If you've got a brick and mortar location and you're trying to get people in it, they have to be in that area. So wasting energy on just growing it up like arbitrarily, well, that's a rubbish word, right? Uh, is not in your best interest. Long term, sure, great. When you get to that point in your career where you want to focus on the external side of things, it's there. But right now, it's about getting people into the office. So what do we need to do? Step one, most simple step, pick your channel, right? Where are your niche located, right? Is it TikTok? Is it Instagram? Is it Facebook? The age demographic is going to be really, really important here, right? Then it's making sure your, you know, channel is actually optimized. You know, these days, Instagram and I believe TikTok as well do what they call like word SEO. So the wording is really important. So your profile, the actual thing is it should tell them very quickly what you do, where to find you, those are and an easy way to get in. When you are doing posts, the words people should be looking for should be in them, you know, back pain, North Fremantle for my case, stuff like that, so that it comes up when people are making those searches. And then finally, when you start trying to get people to follow you, make sure it's local. So how do we do that? One of the simplest strategies, follow all the local gyms, physios, uh, massage, whatever is within your niche. If you are in pediatrics, follow the local and no childcare centers, stuff like that, that'd be weird. Uh, but follow where the people you're looking for are. And then, you know, like their stories, make genuine comments. You can start doing reach outs, which we'll talk about in networking, which is one of the fastest ways to grow your business. But those people naturally start to follow back. So you start to create that audience of people that you're looking to serve. And then if you are, they are your niche, your content should be directed at them. So how do you grow a channel? Ideally, you want to try and find a sustainable posting schedule. When I was first growing my channel, I posted every day, and I'm not talking about a story, stories are always there. I had a post ready to go every day. Three to four reels per week. I had two just static posts, so I'd often have a carousel because that's what was being pushed at the time. So that does change, but the simple fact is the more you post, the better it's going to get. So it's just about consistency. If you're not sure what to post, chat GPT or the things is your friend. In about three seconds, you can have a whole posting schedule in your niche like that and then it's just filming it and getting it done when it comes to filming it it doesn't have to be perfect i'm doing this on my iphone right now it's good enough it's about getting it out there you can always delete content later if you don't like it or you look back and you're like oh that was trash but it's most important getting it to market if you are someone who really struggles with perfectionism do everything as a live because in the live if you stuff up you just have to keep going it's a fantastic strategy to let go of that perfectionist sort of ideology and just go, you know, good enough. You know, the 80% done and out is better than the 99% that is never released. So that is our simple strategy, right? Set it up, know your niche, pick your channel, make sure it's optimized, and then post stuff for the people that are looking for you. Ask any questions. There's a lot more to this and we will have a whole classroom module on this coming up in the future. But at the moment, it's just about getting started.